In this video, we're going to cover some little known uh, processes of Lizzie in dealing with additional contacts. Now, we don't actually ha have a, a separate contact record for every phone number or every email address. We, we have one contact record that represents the entire business or customer. And then within that contact record, you can have as many different phone numbers, email addresses, different people in the household or different people that work for the company all contained inside of that one record. Um, now what we're going to do is I want to show you, I've, I've got a, a record here that we have multiple contacts for. Um, we've got a, an email address and a business phone number here that we're going to pretend are both related to Bobby. Um, so instead of putting Bobby in here multiple times, um, this is a situation where we've uh, inadvertently created multiple uh, additional contacts for this person. And instead of going in and editing this one and then adding in all the additional information, we're just going to uh, click on this email address and drag it down here and drop it on top of the Bobby record. Um, and so what it'll do is it'll, it'll basically, and I grabbed the wrong one, but it'll basically grab these records and make them part of the, the record that's already there. So we'll end up with one Bobby. And now, as you can see, we have an email address, a business number, and a home phone number. Now, the proper way to have dealt with this from the beginning would have been to, to add the additional phone numbers and email address into his additional contact record. Um, but you do have that drag and drop ability as well if you wanted to go back to an old contact record and merge everything together um, or, you know, you made a mistake and you want to go in and actually fix it. 